this video, we will build a circuit which is sensitive to light. A similar principle can be used in the street lights if you want to turn them on in the evening automatically. You will need the following components for the circuit. Let us start by looking at the demonstration of this project. When the external light is less, the LED is on. Else, the LED turns off. This is the final circuit diagram of the project. The output LED glows when the external light is less and turns off when the external light is more. Let us understand the individual components first. Generally, electronic circuits work on 5 volts. Hence, it is important to convert the 9 volt battery supply which we have to 5 volts before powering the circuit up. The 7805IC does just this. It has three pins. The first pin takes voltage of 7 to 25 volts. The second pin is ground. And the third pin provides a DC regulated voltage of 5 volts, which we can use to power our circuit. And this is how it is represented in the circuit. The 7805 is from the 78XX series, where 05 represents 5 volts regulated output. Similarly, you can find various other regulators depending on the last two digits. This is how the LDR looks like. It can be represented in the circuit by the following symbols. And it works as follows. When light falls on the LDR surface, the electrons and holes are separated and you get less resistance. When there is less light, you get more resistance. We use this property of the LDR to sense the change in light intensity. Now let us use a DMM to see the change in resistance for the LDR. Let us switch the DMM to 20 kilo ohm mode. As you can see the resistance is about 0.5 kilo ohm that is 500 ohms. Now uh, let me block the light on the surface. You can see that the resistance goes up to 3 kilo ohm. So let's take a 2.2 kilo ohm resistor which is in between both the values. This can be used to convert resistance change of the LDR into voltage change on the circuit. Let us call this voltage as VA. The principle that we will be using in this circuit is to compare two voltages. The voltage which we saw previously VA changes depending on the external light conditions. Now let us create a constant voltage to which we can compare VA. You can generate this fixed voltage using a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer. The pins of this potentiometer and its corresponding internal diagram are shown. This is connected in the circuit as follows. Let's call this potential as VB. By turning the knob of the potentiometer, you can control VB. Now we have two voltages VA and VB. Let's compare the voltages using this 741IC. It acts as a comparator. This is how the IC is connected internally. The terminal with plus symbol is called the non-inverting terminal and the terminal with negative symbol is called the inverting terminal. Always start counting the IC numbers from the notch and go counting in this direction. The first and fifth pins are null offsets which we will not be using in the circuit. The seventh pin goes to power which is 5 volts and fourth pin to ground. The second pin is the inverting terminal and the third pin is non-inverting. The output can be collected from pin number 6. Pin number 8 has no connections. All the comparator does is this. If the voltage at the non-inverting terminal is higher than the inverting terminal, the output is high, else low. We use this output to glow an LED accordingly. So now we have learnt how each part of the circuit works. Now let's connect them together. In brief, when light falls on the LDR, its resistance decreases, the voltage at VA increases. If VA increases more than the threshold set at VB, the LED goes off and vice versa when there is no light. Now let us start building the circuit on fridging. You don't have to do the circuit on fridging, you can directly work on your breadboard. But uh, because it's easier to understand on fridging, I use the software. Okay, let us start off by uh, connecting the circuit diagram here. Let us search for 7805. Okay, this is 7805. Let's connect it like this. Now, um, let us take 
a 9 volt battery and connect the first pin here and second pin here so you get, you get a 5 volt output at this third pin connect it to the power grid so that you can use this 5 volts for your circuit and connect this pin to the ground so you have all 0 volts here next let's use an LDR okay so let's connect the LDR here and use a resistor okay use a resistor of 2.2 kilo ohm like this hmm. and next let, let's use a potentiometer okay so when you connect the potentiometer make sure that all the three pins connect on three different vertical lines so that they are at different potentials so let's give the first pin to 5 volts the third pin to ground and you, we can use the second pin for our circuit and now uh, let us use uh, the IC741 let me just put it here now uh, as soon as you connect the IC the first thing you would do is connect this pin to se uh, the seventh pin to VCC and fourth pin to ground now you can see that from the circuit diagram this connects to the second pin and this connects to the third and you can take output from the sixth pin so let us use an LED make sure you connect the LED in the right direction like this and uh, stretch the LED spin here okay now connect the LED like this and you can use a resistor um, this time it must be a 330 ohm resistor I'm just not changing the values here you have to use a 330 ohm resistor and connect it to ground and there you have your circuit ready one important thing that you should notice is that Fritzing's breadboard has all this horizontal line at the same potential but normal breadboards generally have only the first 25 dots at the same potential so it's better if you make sure that you complete the circuit in the first half or you'll have to use another wire to connect the 50 dots let me connect the circuit on the breadboard real quick plug the 7805 in just do the connections as I showed you on Fritzing next connect the LDR, the resistor, the potentiometer and their corresponding wiring Connect the IC and continue uh, building your circuit. Now let's connect the VCC and ground to the IC and also the LED and resistor. Now the most interesting part. Let us connect the battery and see if the circuit works. The LED doesn't glow in normal light, but when I close the LED with my finger, it glows. Looks like everything is fine. Let me try the circuit today night. Let me keep the circuit here and see if the LED glows today night. Well, I have waited enough. It's evening and the LED still doesn't glow. So the problem is actually here. We did not set the threshold properly. Now in this lighting, we have to turn the potentiometer such that it just glows. And now as I turn my other light on, this goes off. And only when that light is turned off, that is the surrounding of the circuit is dark, this LED glows again. So congrats on completing your electronic circuit. We will be building more interesting circuits in the further tutorials. Stay tuned.